But we look like we're eloping. We are, we're going to Gretna. The Royal Florist brought in some flowers. And I proposed. And I look like some old bag that's picked up some young man, but never mind. Hello, good morning, it's Monday morning. If you can hear drilling outside, it's because it's London, I live in W1, and I've actually grown up with that noise. Grown up? I've lived with that noise. I don't know where it's coming from, there's always drilling at some point. Anyway, um, this week is gonna be one of those weeks where at this time on a Monday morning, I actually think, am I ever gonna get through this? I've got so much work to do, um, beyond my own BBC radio show, which is three and a half hours long, so that's like a, a mammoth um, task every single day. I mean, sometimes it's a joy, sometimes it's a task. Um, but I've got lots of stuff either side of it. So I've got podcasts, and tonight I'm going to be um, hosting a panel discussion at the NED, a very groovy place in London that I've never been to before. So, um, yeah, I just hope I'm going to be able to... Uh, get through it. And in between all that, I have uh, Matilda's exercise, feeding, running home, taking her out, all of that. I mean, she's the best bit, to be honest. Okay, so off we go. Heading into work. It's poor, it's just been raining on and off, look at my hair. Um, I'm heading into work but there's a new place that's opened around the corner from where I work called the Glow Bar. And um, you can sit in a sauna. It's an amazing place. And uh, they serve food and you can sit and work and have um, a, well, you could have a healthy juice. I'll take you in. Hummus on toast to take away. Sorry, which toast? Hummus on yeah. toast to take away. George, you look so smart. Thank you. I did it just for you, because um, we're going to go and be out on the town later. So, got to make an We. Uh, I need to one. say, we're not going out on the town on a date. We are. Um, just don't tell them. I, uh, I am hosting a panel tonight at the Ned, yeah. which I've never been to. Um, but You've never I, been? Never. Oh, you'd love it. You'll love oh it. Oh my God, they've got, him um, the little socialite. They've got a sort of bandstand in the middle, and they've got jazz players and um, like a quartet thing going on. I hope that's not happening whilst I'm doing my panel. Well, no, you've got a set. A set. Yeah. Um, listen, I've just spent five quid mm. on hummus. Yeah. Um, and see, you can tell me stuff like that because I don't mind because I would probably spend that on it. It was it was um, from the Glow Bar. I've never been. Is that the really? Is that with the gym at the back? No. No. It's just around the corner. So you weren't doing weights. And but went. everyone went on about me spending five pounds on beetroot hummus. It was really nice. Why can't I get you in? I'm just trying to save my That's chance. better. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's fine. Five, Five pounds. pounds. But you can then write, we have write lots that of off expenses. <laughs> we have people who watch us outside London who mm. will just go, "Ah, oh, is she crazy? Five quid. It was delicious." Well, to be honest, if you're thinking of supermarket stuff, then you're going to get people that are very. They probably, you know, make it their own, make it themselves. But you, you can you imagine? You can't even heat up a fish cake. I have made hummus actually. All you do is you just chickpeas. chickpeas. Yeah. So um, tonight we are deciding whether you could give Nigella a run for her money, couldn't you? Do we get an Uber tonight, or mm. do we go on the tube? Uh, Joe doesn't want to get d dirty on the tube, so we're probably going to be. Because I am wearing a big old skirt. It's going to be what? <laughs> what a rah rah! <laughs> I'm wearing a rah rah. He's here, the wonderful Simon Lysett. Opening the box. Opening the box. Da, da, da. He's never ever pale. He <laughs> has forever a glamorous med permatan. Do we call that though? Look at that gorgeousness. <gasps> so we're oh going to make a little arrangement. We're going to but George, can you show the corduroy trousers whilst I? I've, I'm modelling the Land Army girl. <laughs> oh, she's Land Army. <laughs> this. 
is what everybody needs to read because this is out this week. It's out now, yes. It's out now. And look at this. It's available for all good You look, can see his piercings. Look, that's the back of me. That's so funny. this is he here, and now you see it here, the back of him. From all your independent bookshops and online. OK, we're going live, Simon, in five. It's so dark, I hardly, even see? on this, I hardly see you at all. Oh my God. How are you going to get my best angle? George, I can't see you at all. <laughs> Just explain to everyone where we are. We are in a taxi on the way to um, an event because Joe's going to go and she's got a, a little number on and we're going to go and talk about how to be a woman, aren't we? No. No? We're talking about dating. Oh, I thought it was about women. No, it's talking about dating. Well, we'll be free And for... I haven't dated or wanted to date. Yeah. Oh, better lighting that was... there. That was good oh, lighting. Like in a plum. Um... I haven't wanted, but we look like we're eloping. We are, we're going to Gretna. The Royal Florist brought in some flowers. And I proposed. And I look like some old bag that's picked up some young man, but never mind. But you know, you've um, got to keep everyone on their toes, haven't you? We're going to the Ned, which I've never been mm. to, but it's George's second home. I, yeah, I love it there. You'll like it. You're a bit scared, I think. No, I don't like big places. But you're in I charge of me tonight, aren't also, you? Also, I don't like groovy places. Well, there'll be a lot of um, cougars there, so you'll be in good company. I like, you know... Did you even take that in? <laughs> <laughs> I ignored it. I like a night in with Netflix watching Paul Rust. So after this dating exhibition, you'll, be, have a, you'll have a night in with a young man. Won't you? Will you film some of it, George? What, the night in with a young man? No, no, for Don't God's sake. Don't want to be sake. a voyeur. Um, the, uh, the night. Yeah. So it's at the Ned, for the, those of you, my international audience... That want to turn up. The Ned is in... Uh, the bank. city. The bank. The bank. The bank. It's an ex-bank. It used to be a bank and they've converted it. Ah, so it's massive. Why yeah, is this red massive. light on my face? Oh, red. We're in my favourite part of London. Well, one of my favourites. This is Fitzrovia. Mm, it's lovely. But we, um, we're pushed for time, aren't we? So we're on our way and we'll get there. But Joe's, Joe's got her revision cards. I've got my revision cards. Thing is, they're filming it and I can only read them with my glasses. So I'm going to have to wear my glasses. That That's doesn't matter. Why well, I am so short. Your dress would detract from everything. Hopefully the dress will light my face. We'll get a full length um, sh showing you your, <laughs> showing everyone your uh, my dress. And uh, George has just covered me in what is it? Coconut oil. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's Caribbean. Um, what is it? <laughs> it's a Kiehl's Kiel's thing. Ah, oh, it's Kiehl's. Keep you oiled up. And I'm not big days. I think we'll turn this off. Yeah. This is the bowl, which is the pot. And you're probably going to have to do that with the salad. You know what, Margaret? Bumble goodie bag. The men will be falling at your feet. The bowl. Lovely. Thank you, lovely. Raining, George, there's no way I'm getting on a bus. All right, we'll get a Good morning. It's, oh gosh, it's actually five o'clock in the morning, Tuesday morning. London is just waking up and I didn't sleep last night. Uh, it was such a manic night and I never drink. I had uh, one cocktail, which meant this morning when I woke up, I woke up at two o'clock in the morning with this sort of sugar hit and um, couldn't get back to sleep. So I'm not, I'm filming, I'm not going to show you the flat because it's just covered in clothes and debris, um, cables from <sighs> filming, well not that many but um, it's just a mess. Matilda is sitting here staring at me because I've made her get up as well and the moment she wakes up she wants to eat so um, <clears throat> What I'm going to do is take her out onto the roof and feed her. 
uh, on the roof, which I'm not meant to do, but I can't be bothered going downstairs. I don't think I've told you this. I've started a new regime in the morning. Most of you know that I usually practice yoga every morning, but it, that means I have to cross the Marylebone Road at seven o'clock in the morning to walk to North Marylebone to go to Indaba, which is the, the yoga studio I use. What I've discovered, now that the it's getting colder and it's dark until about 7, 30, 8, um, I have joined a gym. I hate gyms. I don't use the gym at all. It's in Marylebone. The reason I've joined is it has a steam room and it has a wonderful swimming pool. So I've changed my exercise regime just for a couple of months because I love sitting in the steam. It's like, it, I feel like it dry cleans me. And because I talk so much in my job, <laughs> and I just talk so much, it's the steam on my throat is wonderful, I love it. So um, it opens at half past six, I'm gonna feed Matilda, and then I, it's only just down Marylebone High Street. I'm gonna go, I can't film in there unfortunately. It's quite exclusive, which is why I can only afford to join it for a couple of months. But I can sit in the steam, have a swim, and then I'm heading over to Greenwich because the new season of my Dogs in the City podcast starts and I'm meeting Kate over there. We're going to be interviewing a Radio 1 DJ, DJ, Radio 1 DJ with his dog. And that will go up on the podcast. But anyway, uh, yeah, and then I'll go in and do my show. It is, as I said, it's a full on week this week, which is why I think swimming and steam is going to be really good for me. Do you know there is a dawn chorus? I can hear the door. I can hear the birds. Let's see if I can. This is the sound of London waking up. Actually, no, it's not. That's the sound of extractor fans. Oh my God, Kate. Kate. Kate, just film me. What? We're both wearing. We're in uniform. Exactly the same things. And, and the boots. The boots are back. Boots. Oh no, we're wearing the same clothes. So the podcast is back. We're I back. cannot believe this. We have had the journey from hell, haven't we? It's been a long one. Yeah. Why don't people wash and use public transport? They it's stink. The morning, it's the morning thing. Tell everyone who we're meeting. We're going to Greenwich Park to meet Radio One's Matt Edmondson. We're very excited. Our first one back. We just hope he's there. <laughs> right, let's have a coffee. lab looking at Oscar. I'm just going to say Matt Edmondson. Hello. Thank you so much. No worries, my absolute pleasure. What? I mean Kate. Brilliant. Wasn't that what brilliant? Nice walk. And also I love the way Matt you just appeared yeah. <laughs> uh, coming down the hill with a dog which I find incredibly attractive men walking dogs in parks. I can say that at my age. Um, it, it, you, I always trust, I probably shouldn't say I trust people walking dogs. Do you? Mm, yes, I do. Yeah, if someone's got a dog, or, or, if a, or if my dog likes them, automatically they get uh, bumped up the rankings. So, for all my YouTube viewers, yes. uh, tell everyone when you're on. So I do the weekend breakfast show on Radio 1 with Molly King, and we're on Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays when you wake up, basically. So, 6.30 on a Friday till 10, or 7 till 10 on Saturday and Sunday. And do you, oh, you'll cut this out, I know. Do you prep that, or do you show and go? Having just met you, oh, no, I we, think you prep everything, We do you? a lot of prep, yeah, yeah. I, I, like, I, like a, I like a relatively firm structure that I can throw out the window later, but I don't like turning up with nothing. Kate, 
I thought he was lovely. So nice. Such a gentleman. And his dog was so well behaved. We loved his dog and Kate had a Westie yeah. when she was younger. So I fell in love with I fell in love with Oscar. He was gorgeous. And her son's called Oscar. Yeah. Even more reason to love him. I fell in love with Greenwich. Didn't you? Yes, yeah, so it's nice. Just the, it's just took a while the, to get him. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's just yeah. The journey here. Are we gonna allow ourselves for an hour to get back? At least an hour. Can we not wear the same clothes next time? We are literally in the same clothes. I can't and it's that orangey red. Well, Mine's from orange, American like vintage. Where's yours? Top shop. So I am going to leave it there this week. Uh, my hair, I've just got out of the shower. Sorry it's like this. Um, I didn't film the rest of my week purely because I wasn't allowed to. So uh, some places, they don't like the camera. Can I just say, Dogs in the City, the podcast, the new series of the podcast is in a couple of weeks time. So I'll let you know about that. Now for all of you who have been wondering what the treatment, the thermage treatment on my face uh, achieved. I haven't had it. I had a cough this week, so I postponed it until this coming Tuesday. So this coming Tuesday, I will have the heat treatment on my jowls and my neck, and I am able to film it, so I will let you know. I'm sorry about that. If you were watching this vlog thinking, well, there's no difference whatsoever, um, I haven't had the treatment, but then maybe there won't be any difference whatsoever. That's it. Thank you so much. Keep sending the walking lady. She's in Carnaby Street in Soho and she did have building works all around her. I love the way people still kept filming themselves with her with all this scaffolding around. I think the scaffolding's been removed so keep sending them. Have a great week. Leave a comment, give us a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. Bye. I'm walking, here's the thing, I'm talking, you and me, I'm